Hello, my name is Allison Anderson. I'm an instructor here at Yukon University, and today we're going to be doing this water operator math problem. So what is the volume of a 20 centimeter pipe that is 450 meters long in liters? So this question is asking me to calculate a volume in liters, and it's telling me that I've got a 20 centimeter pipe that is 450 meters long. So I like to start by sketching out math problems so I'm sure I know what I'm dealing with here. So I've got a pipe. And it says it's 450 meters long. And it says it's a 20 centimeter pipe. So in the water industry, when a pipe is described that way, 20 centimeters, that means that it's a 20 centimeter diameter pipe. Diameter is a distance across a circle. Radius is half that distance. It's the distance from the center of the circle to one side of the circle. So in practical terms, it's really hard to measure a pipe that way to figure out what the radius is. You'd have to be able to find the center of the pipe and measure to the outside. So we don't describe pipes that way in the water industry. We describe it by diameter, which is easier to measure. So 20 centimeter pipe, that's the diameter. Diameter equals 20 centimeters. Great. Now I'm trying to calculate volume. So I'm gonna use the formula for volume of a cylinder that you find on your formula sheet. And it is written like this. Volume equals 0.785 times diameter squared times height. Okay, we don't have a height here though, but we have a length. So for this formula, you know, maybe it's written for doing a cylindrical tank like this, when you'd have a diameter and a height. But we're just flipping it on its side. We've got a length now instead of height. We can use the same formula. We're just gonna put the length into the height. Great. So D, I know is 20 centimeters, and my height, or length in this case, is 450 meters. Now notice here we've got two different units, centimeters and meters. I can't just put both of these values into my formula and multiply them by each other. Can't multiply centimeters by meters. So when we're calculating volume, we want to convert all of our different parameters into meters. That way we're going to end up with an answer in cubic meters, which is a volume that we use in the water industry. If we converted both of these to centimeters, we'd get our answer in cubic centimeters, which means nothing to anybody. It's hard to convert that to liters, so we want to turn both of these to meters instead. So how many meters is 20 centimeters? Well, I know that one meter is 100 centimeters. So how many meters is 20 centimeters? There's lots of different ways of solving this problem and there's other videos available on doing unit conversions. So I'm gonna show one way of doing this and if it's not the way that you like to use, and that's okay, there's lots of different ways of solving a math problem. So I've got 20 centimeters. And if I multiply that by one meter over 100 centimeters, this is the conversion factor, so that's taken right from here. If I multiply that, my centimeters are gonna cancel out, and I'm gonna be left with meters. So 20 times one, and you still have the 100 on the bottom. So if I go 20 divided by 100, you get 0 0.2 meters. So 20 centimeters equals 0.2 meters.
So now I have my D diameter in meters, my length L in meters, so I can go ahead and use my formula. So diameter squared here, it's not two times diameter, it's diameter times diameter, right? The little number tells you how many times to multiply the larger number, or in this case, a letter by itself. So d squared is d times d. If my d, my diameter, is 0.2 meters, I'm going to use my calculator. You will have your calculator during the certification exam. There's no shame in using it for all calculations. That's what I do. So 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.04. And my units, I've got two meters here, so it's meters squared. Excellent. Now I can put that answer for d squared here in my formula. And times my height, which is actually my length in this case, 450 meters. Now the way they've written this formula here, they don't actually write out like multiplication signs here. So what this means is 0.75 times diameter squared times height. It's another way of writing that. So here I'm going to go 0 0.785 times 0 0.04 times 450 meters. Again, I'm going to use my calculator for that. 0 0.785 times 0 0.04 times 450 meters and I get 14.13. Now for units, I've got M2 here and another M here, so I'm going to end up with meters cubed. 2 M's here, another one, so 3. So this is good, but it's not my final answer because I need a final answer in liters. I've got it in meters cubed. So on your formula sheet, it states that one cubic meter of water is a thousand liters. I've got 14.13 cubic meters, so for every one of those, it's going to be a thousand liters. So I'm going to multiply this answer by a thousand to get my answer in liters. So 14.13 times 1,000 gives me 14,130 liters, and that is my final answer.